What is up YouTube, and today I want to introduce you to Raid Shadow Legends, an exciting free-to-play gacha RPG game with over 800 unique champions, 16 diverse factions, and countless challenging bosses. Raid is regularly updated with fresh content every month, has impressive store reviews, and is fully cross-platform. I highly recommend giving it a try by downloading it using my special link down below or my QR code as you see on your screen. By using my link or QR code, you'll get a fantastic starter bonus, including the epic champion Yugo, one of the best epic champions in the game, and a truly valuable addition to your lineup. Plus, when you reach level 15, you will unlock another epic champion, Fane, who's considered better than some legendaries in the game. After downloading with my link, don't forget to use the promo code MONKEYKING to receive the legendary Sun Wukong for free. Just remember this code is only valid for 72 hours after you register, so please make sure to redeem it quickly. If you guys are actually unsure on how to use the promo code to get the Monkey King, all you guys have to do is press the three bars on the left here, click the promo code button in this promo code, you just type Monkey King in all caps and press confirm, and in your mailbox you will receive Sun Wukong who is, like I said, one of the best characters in the game in previous videos. And like I mentioned much before, make sure you guys join my clan, F2P Wales. This clan is with me, of course, and a lot of other members, and we always replace inactive members, so you'll always have the chance to join. There are a ton of clan quests you can do, which are very important because it will give you this currency, your clan gold, to use in the clan shop. And the reason why you want to use this in the clan shop is because you'll be able to get a ton of skin fragments to get beautiful skins for your characters here. You can see for Arbiter, there's this Dark Fallen skin, which looks amazing on her. And of course, there's some other things you can get, such as currency and other materials, and even some champions, some legendary champions, such as Yakaro, the Scourge here, just by being a part of my clan and doing the quests. Definitely something you don't want to miss out on, so please join my clan. It is here, F2P Wales. Now, a lot of you guys have probably seen Raid Shadow Legends in some advertisements. I have as well, and probably thought this game was kind of just the meme or just, you know, over-advertised. And honestly, I wasn't sure about this game either, but after trying Raid Shadow Legends, I know for sure there's a reason why this game has been going on for so long and been so successful with so many downloads. This game is super fun, very easy to catch up, and is super free to play friendly. There are a ton of updates that are always coming out which makes this game super fun and refreshing, including the Asgard Divine event. This event features four legendary champions inspired by Norse mythology. Loki is one of them, you can get him for free simply by signing up through my link or QR code and logging in for seven consecutive days between now and October 23rd. Keep logging in for an additional week to earn even more rewards and you can get a ton of currency to help you out on your account and some other stuff to actually level up your characters. During this event, you can also acquire Thor Feyhammer, the Stormbringer, Odin Feyfather, ruler of Asgard's Mountain Halls, and Freya Fateweaver, the Golden Protector. Plus, don't miss out on the limited time event dungeon where you can challenge the mighty Odin Feyfather for even more special rewards. Make sure to join the event today by using my link. And of course, we have Halloween coming up, and I just want to share some three characters or champions you can get in Raid. And these champions are my personal Halloween favorites. First up, we have Miscreator Monster. This guy looks pretty much like Frankenstein. He's an epic champion, easy to obtain, but still very fun and powerful. Next up, we have Madame Ceres with her cool, mysterious design and great utility as a powerful epic champion. Definitely one to aim for. And last but not least, we have Rhodos the Lost Groom, a legendary undead champion with stunning visuals that perfectly capture the Halloween spirit. These are only three of many Halloween-themed champions you can get, so you definitely want to start playing now before Halloween and try to get these champions as well as other ones that look amazing. Now today we're actually going to be showing off some of the gameplay just from my account here. So I haven't, haven't really played lately because I've been really busy with exams and stuff like that. But we're going to be climbing in Arena today. So Arena is basically PvP against other players. It is 4 on 4 and you can see that there are going to be element combinations. Well not element but like faction combinations that will actually boost your um, team and of course you know, there's also going to be team power down here, which will pretty much designate your team power, not team power, but the strength of your team. And you can see on the left here, I'm at 13k, this team is at almost 24k, but you can see because I actually synergize my team pretty well between damage dealers, utility units, and also supports, that we might have a good chance of taking this team down. So, you know, even though your team might seem on paper weaker than the other team, 
The reason why I love Raid is because with powerful team building and just using your brain and strategy, you can actually you know, take down some teams you're expected to lose against. And I'll showcase this by literally just playing this on auto here. And you can see, even though it looks close, just because I actually organized my team better, which is a great part about Raid, you know, so there's a lot of strategy involved. Even if you're behind on characters or gear, you can use strategy to win, as you'll see here. So you can see, that even though it started off shaky, my team comp prevails, and I take down this team that was almost double my team power, and I get some uh, arena points and some other rewards here. So you can see, you know, just by doing arena here, we'll do another match. Uh, you can see, even if you're at a team disadvantage, by building your team in a certain way, you don't need all legendary champions, you don't even need epics, you just need to actually make sure you build your team accordingly with many synergies. There's a ton of guides from other content creators. You'll be able to take down teams with ease, even if they seem like they're stronger than you. And you can see here, same with this team, that's higher uh, team power than me. I will be able to take this team down just because, like I mentioned before, um, you know, my team comp is just better, right? Kind of outbrain this guy, even though it looks close, don't worry, I take my turn here. And we should be able to win with Ninja taking his turn and my other character taking his turn and finishing off the job. So all planned out, you know, you can see that there's a lot of strategy in this game, which not only makes the PvE fun, but also the PvP super, super fun as well. And of course, before we end the video, I can't end it without summoning. So we're gonna do some Ancient Shard summonings here. You can get rare epics or even legendary. So hopefully you get a legendary. The chances aren't that great for a legendary, but comparative to other gacha games, it's pretty high. So let's actually do, let's do 10 summons here. So I'm gonna do 10 summons here and see what we get. I don't wanna go one at a time um, if it will load and here we go. So you can see we have 10 summons coming out and we get an epic in Chambor and we get a ton of other rares and we do get a legendary. So we do get Beauregard the Elder. You know, he is a legendary. You can see the chance of getting him is super low. I'll show you the chances, but we do get lucky. This game definitely, you know, rewards you for playing uh, just because you do get a lot of summons. And you can see I did get a legendary here. I'm super excited. He is a, uh, I don't know what character he is. It looks like he is a dwarf, but he has a chance of putting increased defense buff on an ally, um, which will be very, very good. He can also put a shield on all allies and increase res buff, increase speed buff. So a very good support character. Very excited. I'm pretty sure this is one of the strongest support characters, legendaries in the game. Super excited to have him on my roster here. You can see, you know, the dopamine I get from just summoning in this game is insane. And I'm sure you guys are excited to do it too. But uh, summoning in this game, you know, super fun. You get a ton of unique characters here. Um, you can get strong ones, you can get legendaries and stuff like that. And the best part is that there is lore behind every single character that you actually get. So I just pulled Boragar. You can see this is him in my inventory, basically. And if I go to the champion lore, this is the lore about him. So... Now I'm just gonna read the first paragraph for you guys. Long has the wisdom of Borgard the Elder, guided the fate of the Skyron Dominion. Indeed, so deeply entwined with the Dwarf Kingdom's future is the venerable Runekeeper that some claim that he will only perish when the mountains crumble and fall, bringing an end to Dwarf Kind and the world itself. So pretty epic. And you can see the text goes on and on. And there's gonna be lore for many of the characters in the game. So if you really want to actually learn about your characters and see where they actually came from, it's a very good way to actually understand your characters. And you'll see like the stories in this game are pretty well made. So it actually makes it very, very fun to actually, you know, use these characters. It feels like you're using them for a reason, you know, to take down evil boss and stuff like that. So it makes it very, very fun. And definitely a game I recommend just based off the lore and stories behind them itself. So yeah, you can see that Raid Shadow Legends offers a vast variety of champions, endless team building possibilities, and multiple areas of content to explore. Whether you're in dungeons, arenas, or playing with friends through clans, there's so many ways to enjoy this game. Plus, the arena battles, like I showed you, are an absolute blast, and I love diving into the deep lore that I showed you of Raid Shadow Legends. Every single one of these characters have a amazing backstory, and it's very, very fun to understand and actually dive into the background stories of these champions. So once again, don't miss out, download Raid Shadow Legends through my link or QR code to receive a massive starter pack featuring the extremely powerful epic champion Yugo, as well as Fane when you hit level 15. Also be sure to get Loki during the Asgard Divine Event and unlock Sun Wukong within your first 72 hours by using the promo code MONKEYKING. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in game on Raid Shadow Legends.